first, and it's time for the Coles fact of the game. With a win, North Carolina would reach its 31st Sweet 16, a record three more than arch rival Duke, which of course could reach its 29th Sweet 16 with a victory tomorrow in Brooklyn against James Madison. That's the fact of the game sponsored by Kohl's. It's a new season at Kohl's. Find fresh everyday styles for you and your home at great prices. Shop Kohl's and Kohl's.com today. Now, of course, Michigan State's going for its 20th Sweet 16, which would be tied for Syracuse and its sixth all time. But Michigan State's the underdog yeah. today as Cohen Carr goes to the free throw line. And that's exactly where Tom Izzo wants them. They've won 17 NCAA tournament games as the lower seed. And they, I, I think they like wearing those, these forest green uniforms. As first free throw by Cohen Carr is off. Yeah, it's something about Tom Izzo, especially in the second game of a weekend, right? They, that's where they do some of their underdog damage. He's 24 and 7 in this second game. You talk about Man. coaching preparation as that free throw arches yep. down off the front iron. It, that's it, amazing. It huh? is amazing. And remember, can we rewind the clock and the preseason poll? These teams were the opposite. Michigan State yeah. was ranked fourth in the country in the preseason poll. North Carolina was 19th. And now North Carolina's the one seed and has the pressure. Back and forth we go in the season here as Ingram in his sky blue kicks, poking around left of the lane, squaring up, turning on Hogarth. He nearly traveled. He trickled it out into the corner. Withers, he had it poked away and a foul called. It's a reach in on A.J. Hogarth, who looked like he might have cleanly fleeced him. Instead, it's the first on Hogarth and the third on Michigan State. Both of these defenses are so active with their hands. It's a challenge for all these referees to make those those calls correctly. Very quick game. Pull up left side of the lane. That is cash for Jalen Washington. He's got two. It's 18-14. Michigan State with the lead. 10-50 to go in the first. I know that Washington had that face-up post game. That was beautiful. Standing Tar Heel fans everywhere. Some Tennessee fans are standing with them. Well, that's rare. <laughs> Top seeds unite. Kohler baseline left. Backing in. Banging into Washington. Stepped through. Lost it. Got it back. Fade away is good on net. For Jackson Kohler, who now has 14 points the last four games. Trimble driving into traffic. And it knocked away. Got it back for Carolina. And they'll reset. It's a three left of the circle for Withers. Way too strong. And the rebound hauled in by Kohler. For Michigan State, just his 19th try from three all year for Withers. His dad Curtis could really do it at UNC Charlotte back in the day. Walker a foot fake. He fires for three. That's good. A splash down from the right wing for Tyson Walker, who has an early eight and a nine-point lead for Michigan State. 23-14, under 10 to go in the first. A cross match for Withers. They don't want Withers guarding Tyson Walker. They paid for it. They would pay for it again. Right of the circle three, Davis for an answer. No good. Springy bounce off the bracket. Kicking in the air. Tipped ahead by Hogard. Walker catches in rhythm. Left wing three is good. A bullseye off a juggle. Tyson Walker. My goodness. Michigan State by 12. 26-14. Fade away Ingram. Left short corner. No. Rebound. Booker the freshman for Michigan State. Everything's coming up. Walker. He bluffs a three. Tried to streak toward the lane. He was closed off by Trimble. Walker still dribbling in the right corner. Gives it up. He wants it right back. He has it. He drives. A pull-up foul line. Around and out. And the rebound for Carolina and Withers. Seth Trimble is such a good defense player. He's so low. He's so low to the ground. Foul called on Michigan State. I, you know what it's like to guard somebody who is in smoldering mode, and that's what Walker was right there. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not a very good defender. <laughs> so Seth Trimble's like now taking on, as Seth Trimble's going to be taken out of the game right now, as Cormac Ryan and Elliot Cadeau come back in. But this is Hubert Davis's best defensive team that he's had at North Carolina in his three years as head coach. He's got options. Inbound pass for Carolina, trailing by 12, even with that strong defense all year. Ingram sways it for Cormac Ryan, who drops his shoulder into Walker twice. Fadeaway jumper, no good. He displaced Walker, rebound Michigan State. Right to left. Here come the Spartans. Hogard to Aikens, and we have a whistle down low and a foul against North Carolina. And at some point, these Carolina fans are going to revolt. It's on Withers. That's his second personal. 
You can listen to Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament for free on the Varsity Network app. Listen to every game live or on demand. Download the Varsity Network app now and search NCAA Championships. Tyson Walker's got 11 points, but he's going to the bench right now. Tipped inbound pass. Withers got a fingertip on it. Here comes Carolina. Ingram nearly lost control of the yo-yo and had to wrangle it back in. He hands it off for Cadeau with that shock of hair on top. Cadeau, crossover dribble, tiptoes to the elbow, crosses over again, hits the lane line, fires, scores, and the foul. Elliot Cadeau's first points in the NCAA tournament. He leaned into Holloman and has a chance at a three-point play at 8.27 in the first. Michigan State 26-16. Yeah, Elliot Cadeau is one of those freshman point guards. Who's, he's a pass-first guy. His first option's pass, second option pass. He mentioned zero points. He did have three assists, but four turnovers in that game on Thursday. They need him to step up. Maybe that bucket will get him going. Free throw is good for Cadeau. Michigan State with the lead by nine. 26-17, 8-23 in the first. Bogart stalking the man-to-man -man defense. He winds up a pass caught by Aikens. Through Cooper to Hogard, lob it into the post hall, backing in on Withers, arm bar to chest, into the post, spinning left, rising and scoring. Malik Hall, a master class of post offense. 28-17, Michigan State. Carolina on the ball, right end. Outside right, Ingram fires a three. That's good. Shot making to the max. 28-20, Michigan State over North Carolina. 7.50 to go in the first. North Carolina's going to need a surprise performer besides R.J. Davis from three. Could it be Ingram? Aikens tunnels in. Tried to lob it up. Ryan, the defense. Intercepted by Carolina. Up the left flank. Ingram, a shoulder-high dribble. Tried to burrow in. Lost it out of bounds. And this will stay with North Carolina when we come back. This has been highly entertaining college basketball so far. There's a break in the action. The score, Michigan State 28. North Carolina 20, 7.34 to go, half number one. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Great-looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, on the background trying to get it set up what's up y'all saturday afternoon hoops Twenty seven thirty four to go in the opening half. Our bonus coverage because remember we had do not have our third featured game of the day until NC State and Oakland tip it off again. North Carolina in a struggle for right now. You can listen to that Westwood One Sports dot com and the Varsity Network app because it's time for us to check in on another tournament site sponsored by CDW. CDW experts help you get more from your technology so you can do amazing things. CDW make 
amazing happen. That next site uh, is in Omaha, where Iowa State's about to tip it off with Washington State. It's the 2-7 matchup in the East region. Uh, Doug, the Cyclones were very good in the second half the other day. Washington State had a comeback against Drake. What do you think is the biggest storyline going into this one for those two teams? Well, to me, the key okay, is you cannot allow Iowa State to score off of their defense. Defense and rebound. Can't allow. And what they do, and not a lot of teams play this way. So we've got to get used w to this college basketball thing because they get to talking. And really talking. rotate behind. Uh, for Washington State, probably the first time you games, see it all year. But I'm not quite sure. The drop now so or, we'll or do figure it out head. as we go. It'll be interesting to see with only one day to prepare how they, how they react. Remember, it's in Omaha which is basically an Iowa State home game. You can't allow uh, the Hilton Coliseum crowd to, to get into this game with those turnovers on those double teams. The game is just tipped off. Let's take you there. Iowa State, Washington State, Kevin Kugler and Stephen Bardo. Yakubovsky, Yakubovsky over to the left-hand wing with 11 on the shot clock. He'll bounce it to Clough, who backs it out to Rice. Rice sizing up Taman Lipsy. He'll drive down the right side of the lane, dumps it underneath to Jones, who's fouled by Trey King as he went up for a two-hand flush. We welcome those of you just joining us across our network just underway in Omaha and Washington State on its opening possession. A good penetration by freshman point guard so Miles Rice, the Pac-12 freshman game. of the year. Shame on and them. going to the free throw line is Isaac Jones, who acts like Stephen. Maybe he got his left arm okay. hurt a little just bit going up for that dunk and get fouled. Yeah, I think Trey King went over to check on him after the hard foul. So let's see if he can shake this off and have some success here at the line. Free throw number one is good. For Isaac Jones, he's a 71% foul shooter. 20 points, 19 rebounds in the win over Drake on Thursday here in Omaha. And 99.9% .9 of the time when you see basketball players that are hurt, as soon as they touch that orange pill, that medicine <laughs> takes effect. And he's two for two at the line. Feeling awfully good. Momchilovic will inbound long to half court to Keyshawn Gilbert. Iowa State's first offensive possession. Setting up in the right-hand offensive zone, it's Taman Lipsy. Pushes the right hand pass over to Trey King and a weave to Gilbert. Momchilovic comes over to get it and hands to Lipsy. 15 to shoot. Throws it over his shoulder to Robert Jones. Waits for Gilbert to cut. Has on the handoff. Gilbert cutting down below. Dumps it to Jones. His shot blocks. Seven to shoot. Momchilovic gets it back. Three on the right wing. Barely grazes iron. And the rebound, Jalen Wells of Washington State. Well, that's a lot different result than the first game they played here. Iowa State trying to find that range. They were 11 of 23 from three. In the win on Thursday, Rice at the top of the key, setting up in the left-hand offensive zone for Washington State. Yakimovsky extended beyond the right arc, up top to Jones. Nine to shoot, enters it to the block. Left side, Clough misses the layup on the left block. Rebound, Robert Jones of Iowa State. He'll outlet to Keyshawn Gilbert. Gilbert, the 6'4 junior, backing out on the right-hand wing. Miles Rice sizing him up around a screen from Trey King. Gilbert penetrates. So if you the are paint, just now right tuning side, in, they switch games rebound, Robert Jones, but once the Iowa State-Washington State, State no relation, game the starts. To Wells so that is what State. you are currently Wells listening to. to but I still have the Michigan State-North Carolina score on the screen. Off the rim for nothing, Washington State. Jalen Wells and Monchilovic will be a, a terrific matchup on the wing. How'd I do, Kevin? Not bad. Okay. All right. Robert Jones standing near the top of the key. Bumps into Rice as he goes out to the other side. And Miles Rice hops up on the table in front of us. Hey, Miles. Trying for the ball as it came over to the sideline. Let me tell you, a young man who has beaten Hodgkin's disease went into remission in June of 2023. All I have seen from Miles Rice is a smile. Constant. Start to finish in his time in Omaha. And who can blame him? Momchilovic off the inbound, gets to the left elbow, jumper a little strong for Iowa State star. And the rebound ripped down by Yakimovsky. Rice will push it up the floor quickly. Wells launching a three left wing, halfway down. It pops back up and Trey King the rebound for Iowa State. Well, Oscar Clough had really good position in the post, just didn't receive the pass. Keyshawn Gilbert trying to post up extended right block, spins on Rice, gets down the right lane. His shot won't go, got his own miss. Rebound won't go, tip try won't go. Battle for the rebound, and it's scooped up by Isaac Jones of Washington State. The Cougars showing some physicality there to clean that defensive glass. Nice job by Jones. And Iowa State 0 for 6 to start this ball game. A 4-0 lead for Washington State. Miles Rice on a bounce. Skips it around to the right corner. Yakimovsky step back three in the right corner. That's short. And the rebound will go out of bounds to the Cyclones. Substitutions for Iowa State. Damarian Watson, 6'7", sophomore, will check in. Hassan Ward. The 6'9 leaper from Barbados checking in 
and Curtis Jones, the best three-point shooter on the team with 66 made threes. Double digits off the bench 21 times this year, including Thursday. He'll check in for the first time. Eshawn Gilbert from left to right will bring it across the timeline. Gilbert bumped by Ward on the screen. Gilbert driving into Clough, and Clough got a shot block and a turnover. Back it goes to Washington State. Yakimovsky on a bounce to Wells. Wells on the left wing. Now will hold things up for Washington State, up 4-0. Rice probing at the top of the key. Backs up on the March Madness logo with 13 to shoot. Rice, a little crossover. Shoots the pass over to the right side. Yakimovsky. Bumped by Watson, driving baseline, goes right to left, skips it in the left corner, five to shoot. On the drive, Jalen Wells, step back three, on the left wing, got it. <laughs> Nothing but cotton for Jalen Wells and a 7 nothing start for the Cougars. Uh, you couldn't imagine a better start for the Washington State Cougars if you're head coach Kyle Smith. A 7 nothing start, Iowa State 0 for 7 from the floor. Rice nearly a steal as he almost got it from Gilbert. Gilbert takes it away and now will try to probe. Clough blocks him off on the block. His pass tipped and taken away. It's a turnover for Iowa State. Yakimovsky on the run. Tries to toss it out into the corner to Jalen Wells and it's tipped out of bounds by Hassan Ward. Timeout on the floor and Washington State is fired up and this should be a 7 nothing start. Right, so yes, they've they got that lead. Washington back. State against Iowa State there we up go. 7 nothing in Omaha. The Cougars See, one time have been to the Sweet 16 in their history and that was in 2008. Meanwhile, in Charlotte, North Carolina, who was facing a 12-point deficit, has gone on an 11-0 run. And Armando Baycott is at the free throw line trying to make it a 12-0 run. 4.40 to go in the first half. Bonus coverage. We take you back there. Baycott hit the free throw. North Carolina is in front. Back to Jason Benetti and Casey Jacobson. Takes the lead. Yeah, Armando Baycott's a heck of a free throw shooter for a big guy, too. There we go. Back to our original game. Year. For the big so, by the, the way, the scoreboard that I'm using is on the, the network, one North that I could find to run. fit my Tyson Walker flares it out for the lead call. It was busy early. But it Drop is it off in front of Hubert Davis behind the audio. Coat. So, they'll keep us screen, updated on the score. So will I. But the scoreboard for the Spartans Tar Heels game is running slow. by Washington for North Carolina left to right. All Tar Heels the last couple of minutes. Appreciate you hanging out about on a four Saturday, minutes, They're though. all the way back. Cadeau the catch. Shoves it down low. A little juggled grab. Spin in the lane. Hook pass right corner. Three for Wojcik is no good off the bracket. Trying to torment his father on Tom Izzo's bench. <laughs> and the rebound. Spartans coming right to left. Michigan State is double teaming every post touch off of Elliott Cadeau's man. They don't respect his jump shooting ability. Jackson Wojcik, by the way, his dad, Doug, a Michigan State assistant. He has the scouting report today. Akins, perimeter left, marked by Wojcik. Hip to hip with Akins, who kills the dribble and finds Malik Hall. Five to shoot, got to go. Walker knows it, top of the key against his former teammate Davis for three. No good front iron. Wojcik the catch on the gas pedal. Left to right for Carolina. Drive and kick. Right corner, three wide open. Davis is a jackpot. Carolina is smoking hot. Carolina. 28 a 15 -0 run. Because they Time started off Michigan slow. State, 316 in the first <laughs> in the Queen City of North Carolina. Man. They've made five of their last seven shots. Paxton Wojcik in the open floor could have forced up a layup, but instead saw R.J. Davis, the first team All-American, flaring out to the corner. There was not a single soul next to him. That was a practice shot for RJ. Brilliant unselfishness and now there's a break in the action with the score. North Carolina 32, Michigan State 28, 316 in the first. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to
your squad. Be the sixth man in the stand. NCAA Division I men's basketball. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com. I had to come back from commercial early so I, so I wouldn't Class mess it up. Missed. Later on, we'll select there we the go. coaching move of the day sponsored I by can predict Auto NBA because I'm used to doing Auto that. Parts for all your car care needs. This March Get man is mixed audio. Professional parts. People at That's Auto a little parts. bit different. North Carolina is on a 15 nothing run. 316 of the first. They're up by 4, 32-28 on Michigan State. Uh, how are we feeling about the Tar Heels now, Casey? Everything changed, right? North Carolina was trailing 11 by 11 points, and I think Tyson Walker goes out, and they're not the same team without him. He's back in now, though. He'll enter it in for a Hall, backing in on the right hip of Ingram through Sissoko, bouncing a pass high on the right side, hash mark Hogard. Poking toward the lane, gets it right back from Carr in the corner. Seven to shoot, Hogard tunneling in, lobs it low left. Sissoko caught it at the bottom of his jump and missed the stuff. Rebound Sissoko, Carolina left to by right. By the way, Davis scoreboard run a little slow, but down low. it will Big update. Spinning in the lane. He rises Not me, just the scoreboard. Sissoko was over there, some help defense as well, and two free throws coming for Armando Baycott. Sissoko and Hall are not happy at all with the official Nate Harris, but two free throws are coming for North Carolina foul on Sissoko. There's a break in the action with the score. North Carolina 32, Michigan State 28, 240 to go first half. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Once again, we'll come back from commercial a little early and just kind of see where we at. Foster, Tempur-Pedic, Purple, and Beautyrest Black with 60-month special financing only at Ashley. Subject to credit approval. No minimum purchase required. Minimum monthly payment, down payment, tax, and delivery may be required. See store for details. All right, Jason Orwitz, Doug Gottlieb, back with you here in our Westwood One studios. North Carolina, thanks to a 15-0 run, has stormed back from a 12-point deficit to take a four-point lead, 32-28 in Charlotte. Going to get you back there in just a second. Want to let you know what's going on in Omaha, Iowa State, really struggling with Washington State. The Cougars are up 9-4. to Cyclones are 1-11 of from the floor with three turnovers in the first seven and a half minutes. When we get to halftime of our bonus coverage of Michigan State, and North Carolina will get you to Omaha, plus get you caught up on what happened earlier in the day. But back to Charlotte for now, Jason Benetti and Casey Jacobson. Really impressive. Hope so nobody picked those away. fancy Armando players Jason for that game. One rebound. And they got to be halfway through the first half, half, half nine to four. That about, about <laughs> so RJ Davis, Tar Heels. See what we got. Up, by the way. Five RJ minutes. A little so less than five minutes left in They're the both first great. half of this one. Double figures already. Going to have a good Carolina's ball game. Cast has been superior. Baycott's got nine, now ten. Harrison Ingram also has six. 
Free throw arches up and is good for Armando Baycott. Carolina gets 21% of its points from the free throw line for the season. They have eight of the 34 so far today from the strike. Michigan State needs a goal, trailing now by six. 2.29 to go first half. In reverse, Malik Hall. Mid post left in the short corner. Bruce Isoko. Walker denied by Davis. Now he's got it. He snakes a dribble around him. Down the lane, scoops it up. He's fouled if it's Baycott tripping him. That's the second on Armando Baycott. They got their feet tangled. Baycott says Come review on, Baycott. it, but I don't Armando. can't get anything reviewed. Nothing in that can be reviewed at this point. It's his second personal, unless they say oh, and he's right. on the flyby. Well, of so Davis I just watched yes it, it was RJ Davis that inadvertently tripped Tyson Walker from behind it wasn't Baycott so now they can reverse who the foul is on if they decide to after they come together it would be the second on Davis as well so they do put it on RJ Davis you can't review it but they're gonna talk it over and they do if the free throw is no good for can't Tyson Walker that one Thank goodness. And, and impressive that the referees got that without a review. That yeah. happened so quickly. But Armando Baycott was, he was adamant. Like, hey, review, review it, even though you can't. I mean, if y'all had yeah, Kentucky. There's no replay review institute <laughs> winning for, the national you know, championship. whether or not there was a personal foul. But who it's on, you can certainly look at. I got at North Carolina, so I'm is good. very much Finally alive breaking my that run. 34-29, North Carolina by five. 2-10 to go, half number one. Wojcik. Harris shoots it into the post, backing in Baycott. Double comes from Walker, around the arc through Wojcik. Ryan, right baseline three, is good. Cormac Ryan Buzzes. sinks a three. Mr. Carolina Ryan. suddenly by eight, 37 29. We talking about Up Mr. The Ryan. Hall. Stabs with the left foot, gives it to Akins between the circles on the bracket logo of March Madness. Pull up Akins, right side jumper for two is good. Jaden Akins finally scores, 37 31. North Buckets. Carolina at the first Michigan State field goal in over six minutes, a buck and a half to go first half. Jay Nakins jumps so high on his jumpers. It, it surprises me every time. And he knocks it down. Huge day the other day for Jaden Nakins. 15 points, 33 minutes. Cadeau wide open, left baseline three, rattles out. And the rebound down for Akins right to left for Michigan State. Akins delivers two-handed for A.J. Hogard, staring at Cadeau, screen from Kohler. Hogard down the lane, shot blocked away by Baycott, starting a break for Carolina. Left to right, Ryan streaking in. He's denied by Hall on the way up, and this ball goes out of hey, bounds. once again, to this Michigan scoreboard State is off of slow. Cormac Ryan with 1.02 to go in the first. Carolina by 6, 37, 31. Not only did, by a few minutes, uh, noticeable. We call block but I just want to let you know it's not me. Of the arms of I got everything Ryan. over I here working Hubert smooth. Davis, the head coach for North Carolina right now, but this was the best scoreboard to Cadeau fit my uh, set Offensive liability on the three-point arc right now, and they are using whoever's defending him to just sit in the lap of all the post players for North Carolina. So what do you do? Well, so you either run some plays to make him a, an active playmaker instead of just a spot-up shooter, or take him out. That's the other option as well. Michigan State basketball, 13 to shoot. Tunneling in, Walker against Trimble. Nice defense. Drop it off Kohler. Trimble just denied Walker again. Catch at the right wing for Aikens. Right of the circle. Hoisting a three. No good off the bracket. Rebound for Wojcik. Hill, two-handed pass behind him for Carolina into the front court. Big rebound. And Cadeau, 30 seconds to go first half. Timeout called by Hubert Davis on the left side bench. We'll step aside for 30 seconds. 28.2 to go first half. Carolina 37, Michigan State 31. There's a timeout on the court. That's your score, 37-31. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. He said only 30 seconds, so we're just going to put a little crowd noise in the background. Saturday afternoon. It's a beautiful day over here in Dallas. Not quite sure where y'all located, but it's a nice day. A lot of college hoops. Got some NBA tonight. Mm. Love these kind of Saturdays. Let's get back to the game. Dave's double for just two bucks with the offers in the Wendy's app. 
Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer at Not Wendy's. Wendy's. Wendy's Redeem and Wendy's app. Account registration That's required. not really a good See burger, so they should have chosen it better. Carolina with about a six-second differential shot to game clock. Yeah, Elliot me go talking wandering shit. Wandering around like he's in Central Park right now. Carolina making that lead a little bit larger dribble, going into the half. The first half. Crossover, leisurely, standing at the arc. Starts his moves, chopping his steps, finding Ingram. Left wing three in the air. Is good! Buckets. Don't know what happened to that audio. From zero oh, to a hundred for Carolina. 40 to 31. Michigan State front court left. He's redeeming Wendy's app. Account registration required. Oh, my goodness. Required. What are they doing? See offer in Wendy's app for the table. Oh, what are Carolina they doing? Carolina with about a six-second differential shot to game clock. Elliot Cadeau wandering around like he's in Central Park right now, just enjoying the day with a standing dribble, 15 to play in the first half. Crossover, leisurely, standing at the arc, starts his moves, chopping his steps, finding Ingram. Left wing three in the air is good! From zero to 100 for Carolina, 40 to 31. Michigan State front court left, Hogard wraparound pass is juggled, and nobody will get a shot up. North Carolina, 40. Michigan State 31, and what a close to this half for the Tar Heels. They go 23 to 3 after being down 11 at 28 17. It's going to so be a, a good nine second point half coming Carolina up. Carolina lead 40 to 31 there in Charlotte. The winner to move on to take on either Alabama or Grand Canyon. Thursday in the Sweet 16 in Los Angeles. Jason Horowitz, Doug Gottlieb, back to the here in our studios. And Let's man, talk as about impressive it then. as Michigan Doug State was over the first 12 minutes on both sides of the floor, the pace of North Carolina to completely change this game on a 23 3 run. Half time. In the Sweet 16 in Los Angeles. Jason Horowitz, Doug Gottlieb, back to the here in our studios. And man, as impressive as Michigan State was, Doug, the first 12 minutes on both sides of the floor. The pace of North Carolina to completely change this game on a 23-3 run was equally as impressive. It, it was. And I listen, I hear what Casey Jacobson is saying, where they're not get guarding Elliott Cadeau, and so there's you're, you're playing a little bit four on five. But what he's not looking at is, one, they shot off the water of Michigan State with their defense. And Cadeau is a big part of that because he's a true point guard, provides on-ball pressure. Secondly, he doesn't require a shot, so the ball moves. And they've dealt with the fact that people aren't guarding him, maybe not to this extent most of the year. And Cadeau was in there throughout that, throughout that run. So, yeah, I mean, like, look, you scored 40 points when you couldn't make a basket, you know, the first five or six minutes of the game. And you hold Michigan State, who was humming offensively, to very, very limited point total the last 10 minutes Let's of the Add some half. music again, behind Cadeau Doug Gallagher. That's, that's what this team is different. Extra. We pay attention to Carolina and their offense. Carolina has been an elite defensive team all season long and that's what changed midway through this half two years ago when they made the national championship doug they were an elite offensive team who was a bad defensive team that's why they were in the eight nine matchup and that was a surprise that they all made it all the way to the national championship this is to your point very different so the question is for michigan state how do you come out and change that well i mean listen they're gonna they 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 they're different offensively this year than they've been in the past they still like to push hard and transition but you can't push hard and transition unless you get a stop so I actually think the best part about their offense is going to be they got to start getting some stops on defense. They got to make some adjustments because it's not working how they're guarding and how they're doing a good job of, of limiting Armando Baycott, but they're not doing a good job of limiting everything else that North Carolina wants to do. You got to get a stop there, then get out in transition. That's what they do best. Okay, and then you, you got to find ways to get. I think Malik Hall going downhill. That's when. Uh, playing off of him attacking the four men that wor uh, of North <coughs> that Carolina. Works. That's now, this good. is where Darryl Carolina's different, that. right? Harrison Ingram's an elite defender at that four spot. Cormac Ryan's not an elite defender, but he's 25 years old. He's very smart, very tough. He's played a lot of college basketball. And then Cadeau's a pit bull uh, on the basketball. Like, this Carolina team is tough, tough. So the best way to score against them is to stop them from scoring and get out and run. And you have an elite scorer in R.J. Davis who had 10. In the first half, North Carolina 40 to 31. So here's where we are. Our third featured game of the day tips off in about 30 minutes in Pittsburgh. That's between NC State and Oakland, who came coming off a win against Kentucky. You got Washington State and Iowa State going on right now, 14 to 8. We'll get some of that. We'll also relive the earlier parts of the day. It's all coming up. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network.
seconds to go in the first half. Harris around the Dickinson screen. Back to Dickinson. Top of the key. Triple. Hit it. Not quite sure what happened to that audio. Dickinson there he goes. So right now we listen to Iowa State. They all get their final six shots oh, okay. the first half. The they led by one. Well, I'm going to let him just talk about it. I'm going to shut up. Appreciate y'all hanging out, the though. Entire first half. And Gonzaga's offensive ability started to break away. 16-15 to go. Gonzaga by five. Zags on a 6 nothing run. Demhard left wing drives pocket pass to EK short jumper off the window and in timeout Bill Self Gonzaga's lead is 7 56 49 all part of a 15 0 run on a 440 stretch Kansas needed to do something they couldn't Gonzaga put it away with the regular highlight of the game Demhard Greg open three right side got it they're 11 of 12 from the floor in the half. Timeout, Kansas. The lead is up to 18 for the Zags. Good defense. They came up with another defensive rebound, and they are just cutting up the Jayhawks in the half court with their half court man offense. And that's the highlight of the game, sponsored by Wrangler. It's Wrangler season out there. Open roads, endless horizons. What's up, Terry? For What's up, Alex? Styles, made for your Trying next adventure. It. March Madness style. Halftime. They go on for a 21 point win. They may switch to the Iowa State Washington State game. Just so you know, but I'm not switching the scores and I'm not going to let them keep us updated. Duke from 98 to 06 for the second longest streak of consecutive trips to the Sweet 16. Mark Hughes team now nine in a row. It's always hard. I think that's what people need to yeah, understand. Yeah, let's go Sometimes NC. Just I need to take a let's go back. NC for the next we don't take what, it for granted two and a half all. weeks, it's, three it's, weeks. Uh, I'll say it again. I think <laughs> it's the greatest it. sporting event in the entire world. Mid December or actually late December, this this probably was it. It was looking like hey, maybe it wasn't going to happen, you know. But these guys, I'll give them credit. They they remain coachable this entire year. They just stuck with it. Stuck stuck with it. They they believed, and you know, lo and behold, we we finally figured it out. The longest such streak of Sweet 16s is North Carolina from 1981 to 1993, although the field expanded where everybody had to win six games to win a national Yeah, I'm over here chilling too, man, trying to get uh, some work done Bill since Selfish I'm over here lead. listening to some March Madness. My guys were gassed. May as well broadcast in the process. There times where you take a you guy know, out. Trying to grow the channel. Do a three-minute timeout, and I say, go back in. He says, I, I need, Background I need work. more time. And I was just hoping we had enough energy to to get to the finish line. And, and you know, I'm not going to blame it on energy, but 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 I think we played very fatigued the second half. And, and remember, they had a 22 point lead on Thursday night against Stanford. The Bulldogs got all the way back within one, so it was a lot more energy than they thought they'd have to when that game finished, as opposed to where it was with about 10, 15 minutes to go. And so Kansas goes home earlier today. Also in that site. Arizona Kansas got to sent a 17 point lead against Dayton. Flyers got all the way back within three. Arizona won it though by 10, 78 68. Uh, Doug, biggest two storylines coming out What's there. What's up, Big Stu? Going to the Sweet 16. What impression I'm going to try to do a little bit more well, March Madness. You know, I'm on this NBA stuff close. too. And, and, and but look, as we get closer, probably gotten the bad end to the final the four, etc. Sweet 16, Elite Eight. They already have a Nah, we got the coverage. Appreciate you. New subscriber alert. Not quite sure what happened to that audio, but really taking care of business okay. Stanford, put down 30. They're playing too much, huh? It, it, the game would have been seen. <laughs> what impressed you most today in Salt Lake City? Well, I mean, Gonzaga was, that's just an offensive virtuoso. And, and, and look, if you've played in this tournament, you've probably gotten the bad end and maybe the good end of scheduling. The bad end of scheduling for Kansas. They already have a, tr a slim bench. They were pushed by Sanford. Had they simply taken care of business against Sanford, put them down 30, and it, it, the game would have been close. You welcome, but they sir. They played late into the night, and then they played early. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Even if it was just one person, around, me and somebody, like, like we just chilling, listen off. to the game, the, the energy talking shit, expended in all this stuff between the travel, right, the media, I mean. uh, the conference tournament, and their college kids. And when you you lose, you know, not just eighteen points, but thirty minutes, you know, f from your team, losing one of your best players. Normally, I'm. This Not time of day, you know, just probably getting back and, to the well, crib, yeah, the way, playing in Salt getting City, set up. But really, today been a and that sucker's catch no up on so a lot of I, background I actually do stuff. Understand what he's saying. That said, this, this team was flawed in its construction. 
They and could be playing some, some audio to a game. You know, sure, Morris, somebody playing. Cougard, never played a game this year. He got kicked out, uh, out of the school. Um, and then, of course, you lose Kevin McCullough right What's before, up, Shan Shan? Right before the, Go to our heels. the Big 12 tournament. We with that. And you're not going to be the same. So it's a shame because when they were at full strength, they were still very, very competitive. Alex, better Maybe be nice. Nah, I'm just On the tripping. other hand, you got Gonzaga. So many things hey. have gone against them. And yet, hey, here they me are and Alex, we kind of been in contact. Sweet 16. So... And everybody, we got it. It was a real talk about we two basically weeks ago whether are or not they would make the NCAA to like tournament. Alex, and they have, <laughs> and now they're playing <laughs> the second weekend. I'm we talking have no shit. idea what what might open up for them. You know, we think Purdue's waiting, but one, Purdue hasn't gotten to a Final Four. Gonzaga has gotten to a couple, and secondly, Shan, we don't know if Purdue what happened to Auburn, State, which will be tomorrow in Indianapolis. We check the road to the Final Four tournament summary sponsored by Marriott. Break. Take your game day rituals. On the road with Marriott Bonvoy. Over 30 hotel brands for every kind of fan. Discover more at MarriottBonvoy.com slash NCAA. So that win today by Arizona keeps the Pac-12 perfect. They are 6-0 and so far in this tournament. Now, Washington State may be the first loss, and they were up on Iowa State, although the Cyclones have gone on a run here to go in front by one, 17-16. You also had two Atlantic 10 teams make the second round. For the first time since 2016. Not really. I agree. Dayton, <laughs> she said unable not to make really. Sweet 16 for the first time. Nah, he pretty cool. As we though. promised, our chance for our local stations take a message. So we'll do that now from the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. This is the men's basketball tournament. like hearing my voice uh, i'll be the one to be like hey where would you like to go and you could be like i want to go here and you could be like all right great take me there and then you get to go to what city you want to go to uh we're gonna go back to charlotte coming up on the other side north carolina was down 12 they're up nine at the half on michigan state 40 to 31 you're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the westwood one ncaa radio network
court. Carolina warming up on the left. Michigan State, the green on the right. Let's check the halftime stats sponsored by Barbasol. Feeling great starts with a great shave. And great shaves Get start back with Barbasol shaving cream. That was whatever a good your time. Day brings, I was just kind of Barbasol. playing Barbasol, about here. It's a can of can do. North Carolina and Michigan North State Carolina. in a nine-point game. The Spartans Went were up by 11. Carolina closed 23-3 to at the end of the first half. And Michigan State is typically a pretty good offensive rebounding team, but Carolina top six in the country in denying offensive rebounds. There's only been one offensive rebound all day combined. It is Michigan State's. They've had an efficient offensive day, the Spartans, 12 for 25. Three for seven from three, so you wonder how they're trailing. And the answer is they just really haven't turned Carolina over very much. Two turnovers for the Tar Heels, six for Michigan State. And then Armando Baycott, 11 points, 10 for R.J. Davis. The high man in the game is Michigan State's Tyson Walker, who is two for three from three. He has 12 points, and Malik Hall on the post with an early surge, seven points. Five rebounds for Michigan State and Tom Izzo. Hey, once again, the scoreboard I'm using was the, the best one that I could find. NetSuite. Now through April 15th, NetSuite is offering a one-of-a-kind flexible uh, commercial break program. again. Uh, uh, anyway, it was the best one I could find for my right setup. But it's running a little slow. How does Carolina hold off Michigan Just so y'all know. And keep that run going. Uh, I think one of the keys <laughs> is to keep Elliot Cadeau, the freshman point guard, active. And I mentioned he was an offensive liability, but let me be clear. He's an offensive liability Bang as a spot-up shooter. Not everywhere else. He keep has the not made three low. in seven games. He's 0 for 3 today. Carolina but he does have the ball three game. assists and zero the turnovers. The ball he's over. an excellent playmaker. There's a plus minus Given stat. Like when you're on Michigan the board, does the State score go up way too or down? And Elliot Cadeau second is opportunity. Plus 18, Carolina and he plays good defense. We'll so be keep upset doing that by the number if you're not 19 making shots for Michigan State. Tyson Walker needs some help, Jason. I don't know how else to say it. A.J. Hogard, one for five from the field. Jaden Akins, one for four. That backcourt, that's the strength of this team. They need to show up. Yeah, it was three-headed, the monster, the other day. It's one-headed at this point. As we pause 10 seconds for station identification, this is the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, your home for the national championships. Welcome back to Charlotte, to North say, Carolina. It's the Tar Heels sure 40, the audio. Michigan State Spartans 31. They keep having glitches 20 minutes tonight. on the clock for the second half of play with Casey Jacobs. Well, hopefully we'll have a I'm good Jason second Bay. half. Here in North Carolina. Well, later on tonight, probably NCAA find a good NBA game. So hopefully y'all will join me. Carolina Tar Heels are Let me know what NBA game y'all want to hear tonight. In their home state. They typically open for do options. not lose in this state. In the tournament, or and I should say, time to find out which team will get the job done. The start of the second half is sponsored by Indeed.com. Need to hire quality candidates fast? You need Indeed. Indeed's video interview tool makes it easy and effortless to meet with candidates. Visit Indeed.com/credit. Right in front of us, Malik Hall tucking in his shirt for Spartan battle. From the near sideline, he will touch it in to A.J. Hogard, who navigates it to the left, top of the circle. At the edge of the bracket logo against Cormac Ryan's wide berth in defense. Take it to Walker, back to Cooper. Now Hogard right of the circle, prodding to the foul line. His jumper is around and out. One-hand rebound, cried down by Cooper to Aikens. His shot blocked away downstairs. Cadeau and Ingram were over there. Rebound Michigan State again. Shove it left. Hogard three left of the circle. Hoisted up, no good off the bracket. And the rebound secured by Baycott. Carolina right to Who left. Who the Celtics right up playing? The center of that offensive zone for R.J. Davis. I guess I could look. Now Cadeau top of the circle. On a weave for Davis once again. Give me a good matchup, not just a team you like. His old friend Tyson Walker. Lob it to Baycott. Post on the left. Backing in on Cooper. Whirling baseline. Ran out of room. Kick out right baseline three. Ryan is a splash down. Cormac Ryan hits his second three. Don't Carolina worry, the score. Is still <clears> the scoreboard will update into the second half. at some point. I try to update it myself. 33 31 UNC. Hogard breaks left. Twirls to the foul.
don't know why that audio keeps dropping out like that. Line kills the dribble, lobs it up for Walker. That's crazy. Davis went huh? Yeah, they're having issues. Okay. Say we're gonna do. We're gonna refresh it. Sorry about that, y'all. Scott knows the double team is coming, and he's just picking them apart right now. Just He's waiting for an opportunity to get somebody a look. Hogard pulls down the lane, kicks out Aikens. Left wing three, that's a bullseye. Jaden Aikens for three. Michigan State isn't done. The Spartans within eight. 46, 38, 17, 35 to go. 46, 38. Like everyone else, top of the key. He's not being guarded at all. So he fires, and he misses. Rebound for Hall. That's backward from typical. Everybody typically waiting for it to go. Here is Michigan State with the basketball. There was no defense on him. Spartan ball. Aikens top of the key. Catch and shoot for three. It's good again. Jaden Aikens right in the shooting pocket. Buckets He's got six again. quick. Michigan State within five. Michigan 46-41. State. A drive for Ryan. Knifing the lane. Awkward shot. No good short. Rebound Walker. Head up. He shoots it right side for Hogard. Wrapping around into the lane. Kick out left of the circle. Hole for three. Front iron around and off. And the rebound down for North Carolina. Outlet for Cadeau. Drop it off. David speeding down the lane. Pink shoes and all. Shot no good. Rebound for Cooper left to right. Behind the back dribble for Hogard. Into the front court. He slices the lane. He rises low left into Baycott. No oh. good. Rebound. He bolted out to Cooper. Kick to the if right anybody side watching Walker, the screen, Cooper somehow ended up with that ball, and now we have a shot. I picked the scoreboard because whenever they make points, down the pinball machine, oh, other than oh, being a good whoa. setup scoreboard, the, the they put the little points at the like top in green. I like that. Sequence was probably three consecutive possessions, no whistle. Both teams going up. Well, enjoy the movies. Though, AJ Hogarth, Don't let it scare you, okay? Missed the layup. Have a good night. Be safe. Got an offensive rebound while laying on his back and kept that play alive. It's the old prone rebound. <laughs> I'm about to enjoy some Michigan hoops State tonight. My mom will be watching. Game. Banging into Ryan. Driving More right audio. alley. Shot is up and good. He Buckets. turned the corner on Ryan. Trey Holloman's first points. The sophomore for many. Michigan State is within three on an 8-0 run. Michigan in less than a State minute and creeping. A half. Loud Spartan fans including Ooh. Kirk Gibson Probably over on the right. Half. The World Series hero watching his friend Tom Izzo. Baycott low left. Missed the shot. Pawed it back up and in, and North Carolina has a five-point lead, 48-43. Aikens down the lane. His shot is good and a foul. Don't mm. blink. Spartans, mm. Tar Heels, back and forth. Bang, bang. Some future 15, NBA players on the court today, y'all. 48-45, North Carolina over Michigan State. Holy cow, what a start to the second half. North Carolina was up nine. That lead is down to three as we welcome you back here into our studios. Doug, lightning fast. First one Why to get up going down back the floor. To the let's studio. not even get to 10 seconds off the shot clock, and let's get it up there, and here we go with a three-point game. Man, is it so much better. <laughs> this is just such a These high guys. level of basketball. And you wonder, Charles Barkley to have said, Carolina's just better, it's going to get ugly, and I don't think he understands the fight that you have within that Michigan State locker room. So Tyson Walker hitting some big shots and really taking some pressure off of the rest of the Spartans. But when they get going up and down, that's – that's why you have to get stops because it allows them to get their transition, uh, a transition offense going. All right, so they're going to their timeout. We're going to go to our third featured game of the day, right? One of the stories of the tournament. Oh, okay, Oakland timeout. University, the Golden I was Grizzlies. Of they're about huh? to tip it off with North Carolina State. We'll get to there on the other side. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. I thought they were about to play some extra audio. Go to commercial break. Appreciate y'all.
Bank for details. Capital One and AMM. Stinkies, crispies, and puff. Just check and see if they were back from commercial. You can listen on westwoodonesports.com, the Varsity Network app, all Alexa-enabled devices. We'll get you back there coming up in a little bit. Same with Washington State and Iowa State. When they come out of the locker room, that game is tied at 27. But for now, NC State and Oakland. Let's go to Pittsburgh. Scott Graham and Jordan Cornette. Okay, we're changing well, here games. In Pittsburgh, we'll keep the, the score on the board. Turned down. The Cinderella NC team State that doesn't want to be called a Cinderella Oakland. on one side. West of the side. And, of course, North Carolina State, the hottest team in the country coming into the tournament on the other side of the floor. Their head coach, Kevin Keats, got an opportunity to get a gander at what the opposition, and especially Jack Golke, was doing the other night. He understands that they're facing a lot of momentum tonight. We got Garda, man. I mean, I've, I've never seen a shooting performance like that in my life. And I was in the locker room. I didn't watch it, but when I got home after the game, I popped it in. And after I seen him make four or five, I turned it off. Well, hopefully like, he'll at least make zone. five, three Crazy points thing tonight. About it is, he's not even the leading scorer. It wasn't a one hit, one to kind of a deal. You know what better. I mean? It will be a great story. You're right. There are going to be a, a lot of people cheering from. Hopefully we got enough people cheering for DJ Burns where we can kind of balance it off a little bit. Now time now for Jordan Cornette's Keys to the Game, sponsored by the members of the National Association of Realtors. There's a lot to buying a home, negotiations, inspections, timelines. Realtors have the expertise to guide you through the process. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. All right, you got two teams that most people didn't expect to see next weekend in the Sweet 16. How does one of them get there? Scott, good place to start coming off. Coach Keats is right there. The guy you saw about Jack Golke, they must have a red awareness of a guy who hit 10 threes and scored 32 points in the first round. You got to run him off the three-point line, make him not the type of factor he was first go-round. Offensively for the pack, activate DJ Burns down low. His physicality can create fatigue for the opposition's interior. Let him bang a little bit, even if he can't convert. Him getting touches, him getting acclimated is key to activate their offense. For Oakland, be ready to compete in the trenches, and I mean that defensively. 42 points in the paint for the pack in round one, 13 second chance points. A lot of breakdown from their guards trying to get at the rim. They have to be tough. They have to provide that resistance down low, bend but don't break mentality. And then finally, perimeter defense for Oakland. They have to keep these guards in front. These guards like to do a lot in isolation, get past the first line of defense, in addition to open guys where the defense is vulnerable. Those guards must be disciplined, keeping guys in front, making them meet a chest. So let's check the starting lineup sponsored by Cintas. Work days are better when you partner with Cintas. Keep your team protected, prepared, and looking great. What's up, Kaylin? Cintas.com. And get ready so right for work now, day. appreciate you Oakland listening. Oakland from the Horizon League, 24 and 11. New Chris subscriber Conway, alert. Senior, I hope. Out of anyway, Illinois. so Trey currently senior, six, six, they have two, switched games Oxford, to the Michigan, NC State at almost points and eight rebounds well, NC per State and Oakland. Isaiah Jones, sophomore out of Nashville, Tennessee, bonus Tennessee, audio. Six, seven, two, so I kept the score on the screen. North Carolina, 50. The other night to help put that game away against Michigan Kentucky, State, a junior 6'3", 189 out of Pontiac, Michigan. And Blake Lampin, grad student, but that 6'3", 184 out of Haslett, Michigan. Anyway, but they will get back to the game. Greg Campy is the head coach, 40th Spartans, season on the sideline here. Tar Heels here. game if he wins in a tonight, couple minutes. He'll be his 700th career Go Tar Heels. Win. For NC State out of the ACC, 23-14 and 14 on the year. It's D.J. Horn, grad student, 6'2", 180 out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Michael O'Connell, grad student 6'2", 195, out of Mineola, New York. Casey Morcell, grad student 6'3", 200, out of Fort Washington, Maryland. Mohamed Diara, he's been on a hot streak, junior 6'10", 215, out of France. And big DJ Burns, grad student 6'9", 275, from Rock Hill, South Carolina. The head coach is Kevin Keats. 
in his seventh season, won his first NCAA tournament game ever. Here the other night, he has won 136 games at North Carolina State, 208 in his coaching career. The officials, Ray Natili, Byron Jarrett, and Greg Nixon. It's time for the opening tip-off, sponsored by Progressive. Protect your home and auto. Save when you bundle. Get a quote at Progressive.com. I was joking with you yesterday, when you're the 11 seed, you don't expect to be packing your white uniforms for the trip, but NC State is in the home whites with the red and black trim. Oakland in the traveling black with the gold trim. We are ready to go and underway in the round of 32 as Oakland controls the tap, moving from our left over to our right. Townsend handling early out of the gates, trying to get their start going. He's going to challenge Diara, playing point guard right to start. Swinging around the arc, Isaiah Jones now gets back to Lampman, head of the circle. And Lampman dribbling over toward the sideline. Bothered there by Horn, fires a three, it's short. And the long rebound comes out. Looking to run now is Michael O'Connell. Slides it ahead to Horn. And a scoop play in is good. Momentum takes O'Connell along with the rebound right across the timeline. Horn gets out ahead of the defense, fills the right lane, bounce pass seamlessly for a land. 2-0 NC State. Lampman takes a handoff up on top, tries left side, nothing there. Now Townsend will drive into the lane, spinning, stopping, firing on a fadeaway. It's short, and Diarro with the last down for NC State. Diarro's length is going to be a challenge for Townsend to fi finish over the top of long, wiry, big, who has a physicality of his own on the opposition. D.J. Horn holds in the right corner against this matchup zone defense for Diarro. Now fires to the baseline. But an errant pass as he was trying to get it to D.J. Burns, and it's a turnover as it skitters over the end line. Had a little bit too much on the pass in such close quarters, and it kind of like a short hop that Burns was unable to handle. 2-0 NC State, just over a minute into this ball game. The winner goes on to Dallas next week in the South region. Here's Cole, left side, foul line extended. Dropping it down on the box for Conway. Conway waits for a cutter. Once again, it's Lampman on the outside. Back to Conway inside. Wants to dish it off and finally does. Here's Cole on the outside. Shot clock at four. Three-pointer short. Rebound down to Diarra. And here comes the Wolfpack again. Horn driving. Shot with the left hand. No good. Tap. Rebound controlled by Oakland. Horn in attack mode. Anytime he gets that basketball, he's out with a jolt. Trying to get to the rim and get at this defense. Oakland started slow against Kentucky. They're 0 for 3 now in the first two minutes of this one. We are listening to Townsend. bonus audio. And he stayed by Diara, at, shoves him out of the way and Oakland. drives down the lane. And now the second they will go is back be the to foul. the Michigan State North Carolina Townsend game. Used his here in a few minutes. Create space, but then Appreciate y'all hanging out on a Saturday afternoon, early evening. NC State trying to play at a fast pace. They're trying to get it off misses really go. Oakland has to make a concerted effort getting back defensively. Off the inbound, Townsend goes to work, gets it to Cole up on top. Cole driving, stops at the foul line. Far side of the floor, it's Jones. Now he shovels down to the block. Going to work is Conway. Up and under, his shot is good. First points of the ball game for Oakland. Conway About time they get on the board. Certainly quicker, Let's go trying to west use side. That speed, his advantage. Getting to the baseline ahead of Burns and able to finish over top. 2-2 two -two ball game. Two and a half minutes in. Here's Horn. Oakland showing that zone. He'll pop a three and Horn right over the top of that zone. Buries the three-pointer from left to the top of the circle. Coach Campy not happy with Lampman. Lampman, excuse me, hoping he'd extend out to contest. He didn't. Horn made a pay from beyond the arc. 5-2 ball game. Remember, Golke is the sixth man. We've yet to see him for Oakland. Conway spinning in the lane, his shot short, right into the front of the rim, and another rebound for Diara. NC State a three-point lead in the basketball. And now, O'Connell loses the handle on the waiver. It's a held ball, the possession will still belong to NC State. Scott, I'm going to tell you, on that other end, with that offering from Conway in the lane, there's a foul not called on Burns. Hear the roar? Yeah, yes, we just hear the roar. In. Jack Golke. <laughs> He replaces Isaiah Jones. It took just a little over three minutes to get him into the ball game after his magical performance the other night. As if this game wasn't fascinating enough with the Sweet 16 birth on the line, you've got two of the most intriguing guys in this tournament on the floor, DJ Burns and now Jack Olke. 
On the outside, it's Horn. Thought about a three. Comes back near side from O'Connell. Back to Horn again. Drive it to the right side of the lane. And a floating one-hander is good. D.J. Horn's got seven points, all of them for NC State. Seven to two. Wolf back on top. Buckets. D.J. Horn. 16-20 to go here in the first half. Hey, y'all run my gets back it to for a bit. I got us. Up in the high post. Driving down low now. And ball knocked away from him by Diara. It's going to stay Oakland's way with 14 left of the shot clock. Townsend certainly trying to challenge DR in the interior. DR has been very stout, very sturdy. I'm kind of surprised he's checking out in this game as a good to Middlebrooks, and it's probably because Middlebrooks had 21 in that first round win. They want to get him in early, but DR is doing the job defensively in the first few minutes of this contest. Rocket Watts has also replaced Blake Lampman. Shot clock at 10 now. Watts with the ball in his hand up on top. Gets it off to Cole, DQ Cole. Near, near the foul line on the right side. Fires left side, Townsend three, no good. And the rebound down to Horde. Every shot from the outside for Oakland has been short. Here's Horde dribbling up on top of the five point lead in the basketball. Up in the high post, it's DJ Burns. Gets it to Horn, sets a screen. Horn, the hot hand, dumps it down to Burns. The left hander shot is up and good. It's 9-2 to two, NC Bucket. State. They've made four out of five from the floor. Come on, Oakland. Where's the three-point shooting the dive guy able to bury Cole. And Let's that's go, just a guys. mismatch. High Let's IQ go. to understand Horn needed to get into his big to win. Rocket Watts driving along the baseline. Can't hit, but Conway there for the putback as he slams it home. Burns got caught standing up watching. Didn't locate the block out, much to the ire of his head coach, Kevin Keats, on the sideline. 9-4, NC State almost five minutes into this round of 32 game here in Pittsburgh. Far side of the floor, three-pointer is an air ball for Morcell. Burns saves, though, and here's Middlebrooks underneath the basket. Back out to O'Connell. They'll reset it up on top now with Horn. D.J. Horn, another three. That one is no good, and a rebound down to Jack Golke. Oakland into the forecourt now. They're trying to deny Golke the basketball. They've done a good job so far. Here's Watts driving to the baseline. Nothing there. Back out to Golke. Catch, set, three-pointer. Good! Buckets. Pick it up right where he left off. <laughs> because of the high sensitivity and urgency to defend him, Golke's using the head fake. It gets the defense erratic, and then he's able to take a composed dribble and a very clean look. 9-7 to seven our score now. There you go, young man. Almost Show yourself. In. It wasn't just a fluke. Middlebrook shovels back behind for Horn. Back to Middlebrook's on the baseline. Driving to the left baseline, and he has his shot knocked away by Conway. But a whistle and a foul call. Jones hit him down low. And there's going to be free throws coming for Ben Middlebrook's when we come back. Timeout on the floor with 13.59 to go here in the first half of play. It's NC State 9, Oakland 7. For the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, this is the men's basketball tournament. Sorry about that. Baycock missed it. And there's Hall with a rebound, but he lost it off. 
up his leg, and it'll be Carolina ball here. Unforced error for Malik Hall. Well, watch at the end. Withers right there. And a lot of times you're going to tell your, your guys to get back, but that time it paid off that he was able to get a piece of it, and it went off Malik Hall's hands. Look at the turnover. Ten turnovers right now for Michigan State. Twelve points. Tom Mizzle said we need to win the effort, battle of the effort plays. Well, right now, it's in favor of North Carolina. Michigan State, on average, turns it over just shy of 10 a game. Top 30 in the nation. Three-pointer from Davis. Oh, on glass! Off the window! And R.J. Davis puts Carroll. He's got 15 now, his third made three. R.J. Davis. Sorry for the audio cut now, y'all. I don't know why I keep doing that, but. Hey, here we are. Carolina. Spice on that one as he hits the mid-range jumper. I'm only thinking of if he turns that over. Oh, come on, man. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. The wrath of Tom Izzo. He already gave it to Holliman. Oh, so man. Oh, Malik. I mean, it's tricky, too, because he did that in traffic. Oh, that was a lot of traffic. Yeah. Double team came over for Booker. Baycock hits Ingram. He misses. Withers. The offensive rebound and the putback. Offensive rebound and putback. That's what I was talking about. Eliminate positive. those second chance opportunities for Michigan State. Now he gets a putback here. The kid from Charlotte playing in his hometown. Xavier Booker taking on Withers. Ooh, he's got a lot of skill in his game. Yes, he does. Freshman from Indianapolis, Cathedral High School. His minutes are starting to elevate. Yeah, he can hoop. It's a lot of Thomas NBA Alana, talent. Especially when he needs three pointers. Carolina's lead is five of the ball. And What's up, Alex? Again, Baycott. Eyes in the back of his head. Set him up beautifully. But what did I tell you about the experience? And you see a little injury here with Hogarth. Yeah, Hogarth limping off. Time out on the floor here. Withers starting to put some roots down. When it's time to go big, we go even bigger.
They should be coming back from commercial. I don't know. Ten seconds. Am I sure about that? Pretty much. Got a chance to be a great one here in round two. Michigan Whatever, State, Pope Twa. Appreciate y'all hanging out. Carolina's lead is seven. What Got you see a good ball game going. Time there, Jim. Well, watch where the double team comes from. This is on A.J. Holt. Uh, nice pump because fake. If you're going to see uh. Xavier Booker going, I know that. And I think what Michigan Tom State was saying, if you're going to go, go double team. You can't be in between. Have a heart attack on the sideline. Baycott, who once again has seen everything. He can pick you apart. An excellent job by Withers by seeking the opening out. Well, A.J. Hogard on the bench now. Remember, a little bit of an injury right there. So, Holloman's back on. And Trimble has his third block. Said Trimble. What a defensive performance he is putting on in this second half. Yeah, a potential six points for Sparty denied because of the pursuit defensively on the sophomore Seth, Seth Trimble. Baycott taking on Cooper. Off the window, no. Coming out of the pack, Tyson Walker. Ingram picks him up. Paul's going to step into a three. Missed it. Had a good look, too. And that'll be Carolina ball. Last touch by Aikens. Yeah, that's the second one, too, Malik Hall has had in transition. You notice in his shot, he shoots it a little bit slower. Okay, he's trying to guide it up there and get it up. But he's had some good looks from behind three in transition. And he shoots it at about 35%. Can North Carolina hang in there? But not able to cash those in. And advance. Way, damn AJ sure Hogar. need them to. Like he's just dealing <laughs> real. With Go, Carolina. He's got the massage gun on his calf. He's pounding water over there. As Elliot Cadeau lays it in. A good look to Trey Holloman. Just gets back in the game. And you understand that Cadeau is not going to be a threat from the outside. So you can't allow him to beat you off the dribble and get to the baseline and score. That's a great call. Akins misses the jumper. Baycott the rebound. Carolina trying to stretch it now. Get back into double digits. Ingram, why not? And it goes! In every part of that rim and falls at Michigan State. What's a timeout? Mm. Getting Harrison away from Ingram him. With his fifth Getting away from him. Pointer. With Canva, it's not just a whiteboard, but a playground for ideas. It's not. Sorry about that. They went to commercial without me knowing. I thought he was going to say a little bit more than nothing. <laughs> Appreciate y'all hanging out. It may be a sad day for somebody.
Head on over to Bleacher Report for the latest episodes of From the Point by Trey Young. It features the basketball star's conversations with A-list guests, his unique perspective on stories from around the league at Bleacher Report app to watch now. Well, it's Harrison England. Five made threes. This is his career high. Listen, the Dallas native has been the X Factor. Tom Bizzo talked to us in practice about not allowing him to get off. Well, <laughs> that hasn't worked so far. And the beauty about his game and why he's so efficient, being that third score, he's playing off of Baycott and R.J. Davis, allowing the offense to work for him and not against him. Five made threes. Six minutes to go in regulation tried, here. Ingram he tried to hook him. Fouls didn't get call. away with it. That was a good call. Noticed A.J. Hogard back on the floor. So this is a key moment right now for Michigan State. 12 point lead, their way back Carolina. With their point guard returning. Six minutes left to go to advance to the Sweet the 16. Hall drives uh, it. Oh, look, it's off the glass. For Malik Hall with Baycott right on him. Head down, but he was able to finish right through. The, it was a sliver of space in the lane that he was able to exploit. He from Michigan State has cut this lead down to four or five with about three minutes left. Heading to the end of this game. Baycott from the post, a turnaround jump hook is good. His signature shot. Yep. And Baycott and the heels answer the top seed in this West region. They were the last number one seed. They grabbed that last spot. Hogarth turned away by Baycott. Kicks a three pointer. No. Cooper there fighting. Mm. And that's rebound. The rebound. No second chance back. shot. That time, I would figure it out. Maybe not direct post, but move the ball around a little bit. Get Baycott back on the block because the double team didn't come. And he was able to go one on one on Cooper. There so it is. Ball control here down into Baycott. Steady. Carson Cooper defends him. He turns away from the double. Withers keeps it alive and then knocks it out of bounds. That'll be Michigan State ball. Back to Malik Hall. Who got he looked like he got hit in the face, maybe in the, in the nose. Chops, but He's in our thrilling drives presented by Nissan. Yeah, this time able to get by Baycott on oh, the yeah, He got stripped across the face a little bit. The gap was open slightly, but <clears> just <throat> enough for Malik Hall. It'll be okay. Yeah. And it's, a physical, it's been physical the whole time. Again, these things are going to happen when you got oh. big bodies like oh, yeah. this. Oh, oh, yeah. He caught That's one you nice can't brace one yourself for because you don't see it coming. The nose. It stings That'll for ring a minute, your bell and no hurt your brain. Hall's going to allow that to take him out this 15 game. 15 points, nine rebounds for that young man. You got to leave Four Hall in the game. Shake it off. Game. We need you. Once the eyes stop watering. Four minutes. Can give it a go. 45 seconds <laughs> left in the second away. half. Big possession here. We're in advance to Sweet 16. The rest of the way. Carolina leads it by 12. Here is Walker for three. Missed it. Missed everything. Straight air ball. It wasn't Tar even close. Ball. Xavier Booker. That wasn't really a good shot. Game, he gives you a threat now, but what you also have to consider from a young player is on the defensive end. He's already had a couple of mislaps, mishaps by not really adhering to the defensive principle. So he gives you offense, but at the same time, he could be a liability on the defensive end. Tar Heel fans feeling like this might be one of the best defensive Oh, the what a follow-up dunk. The follow jam. Carolina's Bro. going for the finishing Carolina kick here. looking strong. Trying to put away pretty Michigan pink shoes. State. Good Hogarth defense, misses. good no call. Right. He, takes the foul. he had to take it, but that, the first one before that was a good no call. That one he had he to grab him. Ooh, he did a little oop to do inside, off the glass. The it was almost it's like they planned North to do Carolina. that Keep off the glass follow-up. Michigan State Sam had a decisive dunk. edge on points in the paint. Guess what? Oh, he did push off. Hogard, one of ten. Michigan Over State eight. looking like they're going to fall to the range. number one seed. And out he goes. Once Four again, minutes Holland left. Returns. Ooh, North a big dog is one for ten. That'll lose a game for your team when, you, when they lead. need you the most. Holloman fouls Cadeau. And that'll take us to a timeout. 3.55 remaining in regulation of round two. Tar Heels in control.
Tar Heels are definitely in control of this ball game. Matter of fact, unless something crazy happens, like a whole bunch of turnovers and three-pointers, this one should be in the hole. Potois. trying to put this Michigan State team away. It's been a, an extended run here. The effort plays they can damn sure we'll put them away they right here. Have it come to they can deliver the North knockout Carolina blow. Gutted it out. 50, 50 balls and look at this. Another layup. Mm, and that's another miscue defensively. You can't allow the ball to be entered into the middle of the lane from underneath. 18 to 6 run in the last 5 minutes. Yeah, almost six, well, 6 minutes. These turnovers. Well, another turnover for Michigan State. Mm. Carr with a hard foul on R.J. Davis. Three and a half to go here. Michigan State got it within two, four minutes into the second half. Well, it's 48-46, but it's been all Carolina since. Well, you got two freshmen in there, and defensively, you got to be active. That ball has to go towards the baseline, yeah. corner, or back out. Let's go, Carolina. Seal the, the, the deal. Foul, you don't think? I saw the locks. I ain't let him breathe. RJ Davis, a little bit of an embellishment right there. That was a late whistle. Foul game begins here. That will send Davis to the line. One and one for RJ Davis. You know, Jim, North Carolina, every game they play, all these big games as they go through the ACC conference you get into the ACC tournament into this tournament it's it's always the same question where is the third score going to come from if they get a third score somebody who delivers outside of Davis and Baycott they can beat anybody in the country it, you know matchups are going to dictate different outcomes but this was a game in particular for Jalen Washington 
to really do what he does well, which is score the basketball. I mean, so much attention is going to be drawn towards Fort R.J. Davis and Baycott, but he's not, uh, he's, I mean, um, Harrison Ingram, he's not having to force the offense, a good drive and penetration right there. But it may be somebody else in the next day, game. But also, keep in mind, Seth Trimble, his yeah. defensive prowess with those blocks that potentially are momentum swings for Michigan State. The others have stepped up in this North Carolina game. If they secure the win, three minutes left, you can point back to those two individuals in particular. Paul fouled on his way in. Harrison Ingram matching his career best with the five made threes, 17 points. Davis with 16, Baycott has 18, and that third scorer, Harrison Ingram. Texas native from Dallas, went to Stanford for a couple of years, was the Pac-12 Freshman of the Year. He's already hit the 1,000-point milestone in just his third year at the collegiate level. His first year with Carolina, as Malik Hall knocks down the first free throw. Malik Hall in his fifth year, his first as a full-time starter. Turned into a leader, vocal leader. Battled through injuries last year. Michigan State team, a Sweet 16 team a year ago. North Carolina missed the tournament last year. Quite the shock. Almost immediately got the great news that Baycott was coming back to continue his stellar well. career. And we need to go on and make this free throw, two of the top make it a 16-point lead. History. And when you do that at North a little Carolina, more than three minutes left. Uh, make this R. next one, make it a 17-point lead. R.J. Davis. It's a lot of points in Tar Heel history. 2,068 team. points, about to be 69 points. Baycott sits at second all-time, passing Phil Ford. Tyler Hansbrough is in the building. He's calling games on radio for the Carolina Tar Heels. So you got three of the top five in the building yep. on the all-time scoring list. What this is the beauty about this North Carolina team. The inside-out combination of Davis and Bay Baycott. And why that's important is because if jump shots are not falling, you can throw it down inside and get some tough baskets for Baycott. Timeout on the floor here. Carolina's lead is 15 in the final three minutes. Four hours from Knoxville. Judging by the area around this arena in Uptown Charlotte, it is going to be packed full of Tennessee orange. You've got the burn orange of the Longhorns as well. Should be an excellent matchup. Rick Barnes against Rodney Terry, two guys that worked together for a long time in Austin. Nine years, Rodney Terry, his assistant. That'll be the second one. Carolina trying to finish this one off. As the freshman Elliot Cadeau goes to the line. One and one here for Cadeau. A much better performance. And not from just because he's able to get some points on the board. Is that he made it a point after the game when he saw the stat sheet, even though he knew in his head that he had those four turnovers. Well, guess what? He came back, showed his maturity, zero turnover. So he didn't take chances, he stayed solid, he made the solid plays, and he didn't cost his team offensive opportunities by giving it up. Tyson Walker. Walker 
closing out his career epic run. Started at Northeastern. He actually played against Carolina a couple of years ago while he was at Northeastern. He had R.J. Davis matching up against one another here. They were AAU teammates in Brooklyn. Played against each other in high school. Reuniting on the floor in this second round game as Ingram misses the layup. Two minutes to go. And Cormac Ryan fouls Walker. Walker was the guy who was kind of overlooked. Davis certainly had a lot of attention around the country and ended up going to Carolina. But Tyson Walker was not. He didn't have any scholarship offers. A little bit undersized. Went to Northeastern. Transferred into the Big Ten. All Big Ten second team. Finished third in the Big Ten in steals this year. Kind of knew he was a dude, though, back when he was at Northeastern. He dropped 27 on Carolina back in the 21-22 season. And that's when uh, the attention started to be more focused on Tyson Walker. Well, but that's an example, too, of a young man that was able to hone his game over two to three years at a smaller Division I school. Now, it's a catch-22 with that, too, because a lot of smaller D1 schools, mid-majors, they lose guys like that that they've developed over the years that ends up transferring to a North Carolina, to a Michigan State. Uh, you know, Dalton connect to Will see next, to a Tennessee, mm -hmm. and can't benefit over the course of their whole career because of that. So it's a, it's a catch-22 that I know, you know, right now it's a quandary in college basketball. Well, it's been that way, too. Yeah, I'll probably put the NBA on Jay here Dickens a little bit. I've got to get all that set up. Start a new line. stream. Cormac Ryan at age 25 in his sixth year of college ball. Oh, oh, the horror. Some pretty good performances out here today. Trying to pick it Selling up. Selling it hard. I mean, it was a foul, but yeah, it wasn't but trying to pick that kind of yeah, Aikens done for the day as he fouls out after 15 against Mississippi State. Aikens with 11 here today. Had a quick nine in the start of the second half. They got it within two points. North Carolina going to put this one to bed. Here, the crowd rises to their feet. The number one seed in the West region, the Carolina Tar Heels, about to go to six and zero oh against. Michigan State in the NCAA tournament. The poise, the patience, and not panicking when oh, this audio is just cutting out. It's terrible. Anyway, it's only a minute plus left in this game, so now it has froze. <laughs> that, that's funny. See my knee. Me to myself. So, uh, anyway, this game is about over. Yeah, that's a, that's that's how it goes. <laughs> <clears throat> now they have commercial in progress. Come on, guys. Anyway, this game is about over. I'll get everything set up and see what I'm sitting here looking. Sacramento, Orlando, Charlotte, Atlanta, Phoenix, San Antonio, Utah, Houston, Boston, Chicago. I know Shannon mentioned Boston. That's really not a good matchup. Here comes the game. What's the S24 Plus? I'm to choose like a champion. They're about to go to their 31st Sweet 16. That is the most 21. One final yeah, fours, and how about Hubert Davis? Yeah, let's see. Third. Denver, Portland, Brooklyn, New York. The game is still freezing. Let's see. Anybody else playing? None of those are good matchups. So 
let me figure out which one of these games I might bring or I may not be doing any NBA, any NBA tonight because none of these matchups are worth three hours of sitting here, really. Phoenix, Phoenix and the Spurs. You think that's going to be a good game? All right, video error. Let's try this one more time. Man, we'll see. We'll see what I pull off. <clears throat> Nonetheless, appreciate y'all hanging out. Yeah, here we go. For some great players here. Michigan State into the line here. Tyson Walker will be wrapping up his collegiate career. A fantastic run. First North at Northeastern and then at Michigan 16. State. Led Michigan State in scoring the last two years. My bracket still intact. Now Cormac Ryan will exit as well. Monty Sissoko is out. Jaden High on the floor. Final 30 seconds. Stephen Izzo, Davis Smith, Nick Sanders. All sons of famous fathers. Nick Sanders, the son of Barry. Can't hit the jumper right there. Craig Lebo to dribble it out. The dominance continues for the Carolina Tar Heels. They'll have a matchup with either Alabama or Grand Canyon at the Sweet 16 in Los Angeles. Sweet 16. Is the last time I'm even gonna mess with that audio because it has pretty much froze up. That game is over. Appreciate y'all hanging out. I'm gonna end this stream and we're gonna see what happens. Have a good night.